What you can expect when you open a bottle of Sojourn is my truest expression of a time and a place. I'm Eric Bradley. I'm the winemaker here at Sojourn Cellars. My name is Craig Hazaro, and I'm the proprietor at Sojourn Cellars. We've been making boutique artisan Cabernet Sauvignon since 2001 and Pinot Noir since 2004. It's our 2008 Spring Mountain District Cabernet Sauvignon. This is our second bottling of a Spring Mountain from this particular vineyard, which is the Smith Madrone Vineyard, uh, located about 1,800 feet on Spring Mountain, just on the Napa side. Um, the spring's got kind of the opposite exposure of Howl Mountain, uh, a little bit eastern facing for parts of it. So it can be challenging, depending on the spot that you're in, to get the ripeness levels that you want in certain vintages. 2008 is not one of those vintages for this particular vineyard especially. Um, some of the neighbors, Barnett, Pride, Stony Hill, it's really hallowed ground as far as Spring Mountain's concerned. Really excited about the wine. Um, there's a little bit of Merlot that we put in there this year that gave it a little added complexity, especially on the nose. Um, Spring Mountain's really known for making or producing wines that require a little bit of cellaring uh, before they can be approachable. We think this wine's pretty darn good right out the gate. On the nose, really classic Cabernet character, you know, dark red fruit uh, framed by some, you know, chocolate mocha notes um, that are in the background. Sweet French oak, about 75% new. But it's the violets right on top from the Merlot that really set this out in our lineup or set this apart. Um, in the mouth, expect the structure that you've come to expect from, um, from Spring Mountain, but still approachability. This wine feels great in your mouth, even at this young age. 2008 up there was a spectacular vintage, as good as any that I'm aware of in recent memory up on Spring Mountain. Um, as far as food goes, sure, it can go the big, the big steak route if you decide you want to do that. Um, Personally, nice braised short rib, I think gets the job done. Uh, this vineyard's a really interesting spot. Stu and Charlie Smith have been farming this place since the early 70s. We uh, were able to get fruit from this very specific block that you know, takes at least 10 minutes from the winery on some sort of off-road vehicle to get down to. It's, it's this little bowl or amphitheater. It's got a lot of like southeastern exposure um, old vines, a mixture of uh, quite a few clones and rootstocks. Um, but <laughs> the first time Craig and I went down there to look at this fruit, we knew instantly that we wanted to play with it. So uh, this is confirmation that we made a good decision, and, and we hope you agree with us. I hope you like it as much as we do. Our tasting salon is located just off the historic plaza in the town of Sonoma. We do sit down by appointment tastings only. It's a really unique environment. We hope to share our wines with you in Sonoma in the near future. I'm Eric Bradley, winemaker at Sojourn Cellars. Thanks for spending some time with us.